In this video, I'm gonna talk about every item that is on my productivity desk setup and also on my workspace. Up until the end of last year, my productivity desk setup was just my MacBook and a table and a chair. So I'm quite happy that I've decided for an upgrade and the way that things turned out. So this video will be divided into hardware, furniture, and also accessories. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing to talk about is the computer that's powering this entire productivity desk setup. And that is my MacBook Pro 13 inch from early 2015. So I bought my MacBook, I believe in January, 2016. And at that time, I decided to go for the most upgraded version and so the processor is a dual core by intel and i7 and i also decided to double the ram that came with the pre-selected option so that means it's powered by 16 gigabytes ddr3 ram furthermore i also decided to extend the disk so it has 500 gigabytes which at the time seemed like a lot and for the last couple of years it has been but unfortunately now that i record so many videos the disk is starting to become quite full and so i decided to buy an additional external disk of 500 gigabytes to store all the videos although i bought the macbook so long ago it still does everything that i want to do very perfectly, very smoothly, and without anything going wrong. I've seen lots of videos about the M1s, and I think at some point in the future, I'm gonna try to upgrade, but for now, this computer is powering this entire setup. It's just working beautifully. The Retina display was very nice when I was using it, but then I decided to upgrade to a big ass monitor, which is the one that you see here. It's an LG 34 inch monitor. And what I found funny at the time is this is actually a monitor for gaming. Now I don't play games on my computer, but it's very nice to have all this additional real estate on the side, because this is a ultra wide monitor. So what that means on a 34 inch ultra wide is that it just looks like a 27 inch but then there's additional space on the side and this comes very handy for example if i'm editing videos by seeing a lot of things on the timeline and also i can use the commands on the computer by using an app called spectacle to just move things around so for example if i'm working on a video and i need some research on one side and i want to write the script on the other side i can use spectacle to move the windows to one of the sides and what that means is i think i have a little bit of the best of both worlds because i don't have two monitors which i don't really like but by having such a big monitor I can have two windows open at the same time without having to switch the monitors. So it's been two months now that I have this desk set up and I just really love that one single feature of being able to work just in one monitor, so big. And still, every time I sit at my desk, I just marvel how big it is. And to make sure that I can move the monitor closer to me or even further, I put a monitor arm that is just from Amazon Basics. The arm itself was a little bit expensive compared to how much I paid for the monitor itself, but it's really great to just be able to move the monitor around. So for example, at the end of my workday, what I like to do is just push it a little bit back so then it's not so close to my face because I get a little bit tired from looking at the monitor the entire day. And although I don't use this, you can also rotate the monitor with the arm if you want, but I simply use it to pull it closer or pull it further whenever I need to. Then we have the mouse, which is Logitech MX Master 3. Now the really great thing about this mouse, apart from the color that I really like because my room is white and also gray, so it goes with the whole vibe of the room, is that it has two buttons here on the side. And what this button really allow me to do is just go back and forth on web pages, for example, on applications without the need of using the keyboard. So for example, if I'm using Chrome and I wanna to go to the previous page and I'm using my mouse at the moment, all I have to do is just click that back button. And also I don't mind this wheel here on the middle because it makes it very easy to scroll. And if you actually click on it, it will open that web page on Chrome. So most of what I do, it's based on the internet. Maybe if that's not your use case, that won't be so helpful. But for me, these two features of that mouse really help me do a lot more, a lot faster. And then complementing that mouse, we have the Magic Trackpad 2. Now the Trackpad two was probably the item that I thought about the most before buying. Because I was not so sure that I would need a mouse and then a keyboard and also a trackpad. But I'm so glad that I got it because it really helps my workflow. One of the best things that I can use it for is when I'm editing a video on Final Cut, I can just simply scroll on the timeline to go back to go forth really, really simply. And also it comes very handy when you want to use all these gestures on a Mac, like three fingers up or switching workspaces and stuff like that. So in the end, I'm very glad that I bought it. It's a very nice addition to everything that I'm going to do with my hands here. That sounded a little bit weird. Then I also use my hands and probably the item that I use the most on the Magic Keyboard. Before I was just using the keyboard on my Mac because I didn't have an external keyboard. And actually I had one of this a very long time ago, back when I was using two monitors. But then here's what happened. I got so used to working with two monitors. And when I came back from living in Sydney, I didn't have two monitors anymore. I just had the MacBook. So at the time I decided to buy two monitors. But then I did a programming bootcamp and obviously I was not gonna carry the two monitors back and forth to the place where I was taking the course. So then I got used to just working on the window on my MacBook. And so therefore, because I didn't have monitors anymore, it seemed silly to just use the keyboard 
keyboard with the MacBook. And so I decided to sell it. But now I'm so glad that I bought another one because it makes writing so much easier on the computer. And because I do so much of writing when it comes to scripts, when it comes to writing for the blog, it's a really nice feeling. And obviously every keyboard that is designed by Apple is very nice. And so for now, I'm very happy with this Magic Keyboard. Then the next thing I want to talk about is the additional USB ports that I have connected to my MacBook. Now, because the MacBook is now standing on a vertical position, it's a little bit hard to connect everything. And most of the times what I'm trying to connect is either the webcam or just the camera to take off the video files or maybe the recorder. And so by having that on my table, it really removes the friction of taking things out of the camera, taking things out of the recorder. It's very easy to just plug it in. It's a very simple device, but it also has an SD card slot. And that makes it really easy to plug in a card if I need to. And one thing that I always connect whenever I have a call is my webcam. And that is the Logitech C920. I bought it a very long time ago, actually before the MacBook, when I didn't know anything about life and I was just using Windows. And it was the first camera that I used to record video courses, if you can believe that. And why is that? It's because the camera records in HD quality. And for the time being, there was no need to upgrade this camera. It's fantastic. The picture is very good when I'm on a video call. And now if I have to do courses, I can just record on this camera. So if you're on the market for a webcam, I definitely recommend that one. Then the next thing on my desk are the speakers, which are the Logitech Z120. So again, I didn't have speakers before. I decided to buy them just to put a little bit of music if I want to. They were very cheap, just a very normal set of speakers. I didn't need anything fancy to just listen to music from time to time, which is what I use them for. And I'm a little bit sad that I couldn't find them in gray. This part is just black, but I'm happy with the white on the outside. Then we have the stand on the MacBook, which is by Omoton, and it's just gray, just sits, computer sits vertically, nothing special about it. The only thing is it's very sturdy. It holds up the computer very nicely and you can adjust depending on the width of your computer. And finally, the last thing on the productivity desk setup is this plant right here. So I've heard that if you don't have a plant, you can be a serious YouTuber. I've seen lots of research pointing to this. And so I decided to buy myself a fake plant so that I can be taken seriously on YouTube. And I decided even to adorn it with a simple vase. So there's the plant and then it goes on the vase and it goes nicely with the table because again, it is of great color. And so the plant really just sits here on the corner and motivates me to work. It's very nice to look at green from time to time. And again, taken seriously on YouTube. All right, next, let's talk about the furniture. And so now we move on to the desk, which I got from Ikea. The name of the desk is, I believe that's the way you say it, Ibisen. And so the really nice thing about this desk, apart from the color, which is something that I really like, is that it's a standing desk. So there's a button here on the side that you can use to pull it up, pull it down, and always maintain it at the height that you want. And you can also do this using an app on your phone. And fortunately, I don't really know how to set it up. I've tried to contact IKEA, but they haven't replied. And so now I'm stuck on this black hole of YouTube videos trying to understand how it works. But oh well, you can't have anything. So I just like to use this on the side and it just goes up and down. All right, enough of playing with that. Next, we have the chair. Also got it from Ikea, also in a nice color that complements the table. And it is called, wait for it, Alef Yal. Alef Yal, I don't know how to say this but it is very nice. Before I had just a standard office chair. This one is a little bit nicer. It's very comfortable in my back here because in my lower back, sometimes I had a lot of pain because I was sitting so much on my desk and now I could simply sit back and relax. Now, the one thing that I found a little bit annoying when I'm using this chair is that I tend to move a lot in the chair. So I'm constantly trying to change my position as I'm sitting on it. And that's a little bit annoying, but compared to the previous chair that I use, it's a big, massive improvement. Next up, we have the unit here behind me. This is something that I added to my desk setup this year as well. And it basically serves as a storage for anything that I need to be next to me. So all the cables, extra gear for recording videos, for the cameras, the microphones, and all of those stuff. I've also put a couple of things that I like, like two books that were given to me by my mother at Christmas, the notebooks that I use when I need to draw something, and also the pens. And then there's also the flashcards that I got recently, and I use them as my physical Zeto custom. At the top, normally I have another fake plant, because again, I like to look at green on my workspace. There's also a lamp and an essential oil diffuser user, which I use mostly in the afternoons, a couple of drops of a scent that I like, and it just perfumes the room with a very nice smell. And you can leave it on for three to six hours as you like, and it just works by itself. So basically when I'm finished with my work here at my computer, I just plug it in, put it to work, maybe have a shower. And then when I come back, my room smells really nice. And finally, the last thing next to that drawer unit is my beloved guitar. Now, this is probably the item that I have in my life that I like the most. It's an Alhambra 11P and I got it custom made. I ordered it a few years ago and it was very cool because this model specifically, they let you choose the finishing touches that you want, the wood that it's made of and so many other things. 
And it's so nice that it's close to my desk that if I have a break and I wanna play something, I can just simply grab the guitar and start playing. And so that's why I keep it so very close to my desk. And finally, we have the accessories. So the first thing to note are the lights that you see here, the blue light and then the orange light there. These are two lights by Tomlins and they work with hue lights. And now I can use different colors that I want for different moods. There's an app that you can use called Manros. And for example, if I want to change the color here, I can simply scroll. Whee! Whee! And then the very cool thing about it is that already predefined templates. So for example, this is the one that I call party, which is for these videos. And then I can adjust if I want to have like 25% on the blue light because I believe that's a little bit strong. So it's very easy to use and also very easy to use with your phone. And that is very cool. And when I was setting up this productivity desk, it's one of the things that we love the most, me and Eva, the volunteer, when we were setting this up. So at night, if I want to have a different ambience, what I'll do is just connect that one light and maybe change it to a warmer color. Now, the other thing that's on my desk in terms of light is the ring light. Now, the ring light I use mostly when I'm on a call because it projects the light on my head. It's very nice when you're taking a call because the webcam is standing in front of me. In the beginning, I used it for the videos as well, but I found out that was a little bit too much light and made my face look a little bit weird. So now I only specifically typically use it for calls. It's a 16 centimeters ring light by Newer. Nothing fancy, and it's set up on my desk connected to this tripod so that it stands above me when I'm taking a call. Then there's the Moleskine and the Uniball. Now this Moleskine, I really like these types of notebooks because this is literally where I write everything that I have to do, things that come to my mind, maybe even things that I need to do for thumbnails, and also all the bits and bobs that I need on my daily life. It's literally my brain dump here. I did a video specifically about that if you wanna watch it. And so yeah, basically it's always on my desk. I'll just write what's on my mind and maybe some tasks that I need to do that don't go in my calendar. And the Uniball specifically, I don't know, I just used them for the last maybe 10 years, I'm gonna say, and I just really like them so much. So when one of them is over, I'll just start with another Uniball. Then we have the Apple AirPods, always sitting on my desk. I got them late November last year as well. And before I used the Bose headphones a lot more, but because they were a little bit big, I would always put them in a drawer. Now, the great thing about the Apple AirPods is that they're so small that you can literally have them anywhere in your desk and they don't occupy a lot of space. And also because they connect so effortless, you can just connect that and it will connect to the computer. It is very easy to use. And also if I'm traveling, I need to take a train or go somewhere, I'll always carry the AirPods as well. So I'm really sold on that idea of portability. Is the sound as good as the Bose headphones? Probably not. But when I'm working from home, I don't really need that much noise canceling. I just need enough to not hear what's going around. And that's more than enough. They're always sitting on my desk and I use them multiple times a day to hear my favorite playlists like Lord of the Rings. And then finally, at last, the last thing on my desk is the Nandito coaster. Now, two years ago, we went to Peru, obviously lots of alpacas, lots of llamas, and we love them. Me and Eva the volunteer just took a lot of pictures with them. And so at some point we met an alpaca named Nandito and we fell in love with him because he was just so fluffy. And so we decided then and there, in the future, when we have a dog, his name, the first one, is gonna be Nandito the first. And so it's very nice to have like a coaster like this sitting at my table because it makes me happy. It reminds me of alpacas, llamas, and good days in Peru. And so I use it mostly to put this mug that Eva the volunteer gave me on Christmas, and it has a picture of a very fluffy Nandito and saying, follow your dreams. Look how cute that is, huh? Look how cute, hmm? So cute. And so when I make my coffee in the morning, I do it with the AeroPress in this mug, and then I put Nandito the first sitting on top of the llamas. And that makes me very happy in my morning and helps me get started doing my tasks. And so that's everything that's on my desk. If you enjoyed this video, you also love the video where me and Eva the volunteer tried to put everything that you saw in this video together. And you can watch it by simply clicking here. So go watch it right now to learn what's the Portuguese version of Windex. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.